Welcome back for our second tip on stopping stress instantly. I hope you had a moment here and there to use your hands to calm your system since the last video. This process builds on itself, so the more you do it, the more powerful it becomes. If you only notice a little bit in the very beginning, that's okay, it's normal. Just keep playing with it, and you'll see the subtle, the subtle shifts from uh, stress to calm soon enough. So the next piece that we're going to talk about is you're going to move your awareness to the bottoms of your feet. Just simply notice how your feet feel as they are touching the soles of your shoes and how they feel as your feet are resting on the floor, whether you're sitting, standing, or walking. And if you're not wearing shoes, just feel what it feels like for the bottoms of your feet to be touching the ground. And next, take a nice deep breath in through your nose a big breath that actually fills your belly and then your chest. Some people are locked in a continual stress response that they can only take shallow breaths. And if that's the case for you, work with your breath until you can pull a nice inhale into your belly. And for some people that might take practice. So you want to first fill your belly and then your chest. One way to practice is to lie on the floor with a book on your belly um, and just keep breathing until you notice the book rising and falling. And again, this might take a little practice, but eventually it clicks in because this is how a human body likes to breathe. So it will be worth your effort if it takes a few nights of five minutes of practice or something because correct breathing is vital to your good health. So you're keeping your awareness low in your body whether it's in your belly or at the bottoms of your feet. Either one is good because the purpose of this part is to counterbalance the mental spin and the constant thinking that is really prevalent for all of us. Mental spin creates stress. And if something else has created a stress response in your body, like a deadline or pain or um, a poor night's sleep, that can tend to cause more mental activity. So it's a catch-22, so to speak. It's important to know the following. Your mind doesn't know how to heal your body. If it did, it would have done it already. You must be in your body to activate the cellular intelligence that we talked about in the last video. The body knows what and how to heal the body. Thus, being in your body will give you access to that. And don't worry if it feels somewhat foreign. Just keep practicing it, and you'll eventually get your internal healing intelligence heading in the right direction. And this is really important if you wish to be healthy. There's not, I mean, we, there's no workaround for that. So in Chinese medicine, what needs to move freely throughout your body is circulation, or qi. And simply put, qi is what circulates your blood, which carries all the nutrients, hormones. It circulates your lymph and oxygen and nerve impulses. And problems arise when there are blocks to this freely flowing circulation. Organ function suffers, muscles, tendons, ligaments are all affected. The body simply can't do its job. In the last video, we talked about our hands. So we place our hands. This is the recap. We place our hands, drop your awareness into your body, and breathe. And we'll talk about another important aspect in the next video, which is how to unblock what might be all tied up in knots in various parts of your body. So until then, if you would like more information, you can click on the link below. Uh, you can also leave a question in the comment box and give us an idea of how this is supporting you. And remember, we all love to learn from one another, so this kind of stress re-education is really more fun to do together. So until next time, Lori Morse with Create Your Health Naturally, because you can.